is filled with people who wanted to harm themselves, commit suicide, and then they didn't do it because I shared my story. I say that my agenda is spiritual and I mean it because when you listen to this far, I haven't said what I've been through, I didn't say anything I've been through, but you can know, you can feel that I've been through something. And when you're singing it, I don't know what you've been through, but I feel like we, we've been through something. So we can make sure people can relate. What have you been through? The same thing everybody has been through. What do you want me to say? <laughs> like what? A lot of, to be honest with you, I. I went through a lot, so at the end of the day, I was depressed. I was going through depression and anxiety. And at my lowest, at my lowest, I lost my mom. Oh, everybody has that one person that you know that this is mine. If the whole world would frown, the whole world would go black. My mom was shine out in that room. And she went and it wasn't like overnight. The fear of losing her was like a month or two. She was sick. She was on oxygen for some time. I was in the UK, so I wasn't there. And I was scared of losing her before coming. I was scared. So imagine that trauma I went through. It wasn't good for my mental health. And finally, and I had hope, to be honest. I had hope that God would heal. So when she won, she went away. It was hard for me. So that brought the total breakdown for me. And it was. I went through grieving and counseling. I went through a lot of counseling to get over it. And I'm still not over it. I can never get over it. But I say that during that hard time, so when you see that everything has got, family is going bad, business going bad, music that gives you that joy is going bad, nothing is working. And at the end of the day, that one person that's your biggest fan, your solace, I'll say my solace, was gone. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard. I thought I would lose it. I thought I would go crazy. But I'm still here. Who wrote that song this far? You did? Yes, from scratch. Wow. So I recorded it in my in my house because I have a small studio that they guided me to set up. So I do the vocals. I did the vocals from my house. From this fire mm -hmm. to every arrangement over there. I did it from the phone, gave it to them to give me the beat. Okay. And then when he brought the beat, to be honest, the beat sounded... Who, who produced it? Sha. Sha, okay. When he brought in the beat, um, I listened to the beat and I knew that something was missing. It felt... The beat felt normal to me. So okay. I, I didn't say anything, I sent it to my manager. And he also said, something is it's not, I, I can't place a finger. And then he said, I said to the engineer, I said to Sha, can you take off that drum case? Because mm. I want the song mm. to, I want to be able to sleep on the beat. I want to pour, this is my life on, in lyrics. I want to pour myself. I don't want, don't give me the normal high life, man. I don't want it. All right. I something All right. So when he took off the case, it, it sounded like what I wanted to hear. And I think it helped me, it informed him. And it helped me to pour my all on it. And it, it gave me more, much more idea of what I wanted. And so he, I see that he's done a lot with this production, a perfect one. Because horns are in there. Most times we sing the song, gospel I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We sing and in, during the interlude you hear the horns. But no, this one, I'll be singing and the horns are going, but it's in harmony. Okay. So I got what I wanted. I wanted something different because this is my life one. It has to be good. This wow. is my life I'm seeing. It has to be good. Then recently... Personally, the thing is that going through my depression and anxiety, I realized that we worry over things we can't take care of. My mom is gone. She's gone. For all you know, she's happy wherever she mm. is. Why don't I leave it? And I believe in the grace that flowed from the cross. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in his sacrifice. And so if he said it is finished, it is not just about being saved and going to heaven. In fact, I can't, me, I'm, I'm not going to be Lazarus, suffer on earth and go in, in heaven to be in Abraham's bosom. No, I will have to leave it all. I can't do much about it. I am human. So sometimes you go down. But I've told myself, either than that, we make Christianity complicated, like saints gathering together. No, we are human. Sometimes we go down. We are bothered. We are troubled. We are worried. But he says, cast your burdens upon me. I care. This is where this song comes from. From a deep place. It is finished. Yeah. Who produced it? Nasi. Nasi. Yeah. Yeah. Nasi. How, how is it like working with him? Because you did one with him in the past. Or how many, how I've many done songs? a couple of songs with of Nasi. I've done, Tell us about his, uh, his first album, work he at. did everything on the Kama Kama album with I did one. Okay. The second one, I did a couple of songs on the album with him and some with Sha. Okay. And I put them together. Third one, I did the whole thing with another one who is called Dave. 
but uh, Nasi and I, all the engineers I work with, this is my comfort zone, that's what I say. Shai is my comfort zone, Nasi is my comfort zone. But you know that one person that she clicked in a different way, like you found. First day I went into the studio, I called Nasi because I saw his, I heard his work and I said, Nasi, I called him. That time I was cassettes, so I saw his number on the cassettes, so I okay. called him. Okay. And I see what is your door? And he's like, thank you. And the reception was good for me. I didn't plan on going to the studio. But I said, I'm coming to the studio and record. To record, he says, come. So from the first day I went, they recorded Ajim and Kwadabo And we've had that clip. Um, he's one person that believed in me. Okay. Nasi believed in me. I went out with my son. He wasn't supposed to be my producer. I went out with the Ajim and Kwam to one producer. And he asked me, he asked me that time, who, who told you that you are a singer? The same Ajim and Kwadabo made it. And then I came down really frustrated and I came to Nasi Nasi and said, Obia, if everybody's work gets to you, you will die before your time. Sure. This is good. You are good. Uh, recently we went there with my manager and my manager was saying she performed and I was so happy. And Nasi said, ah, Erabna is not there today. And, and you <laughs> see that kind of faith he has in my creativity, in my craft. It's that faith, I lost it myself when I went low. I lost faith in me. Mm. That's why I keep saying that. The nominations that came, it may be World Cup for somebody, whatever, but me, it's a confirmation of confidence for me. Great. Getting nominated as a songwriter, Great. because I lost confidence in my ability to write, lost confidence in my creativity and all that, and Nasi believes in me, so he's a brother. Fantastic. 